Hello, everybody. My name is Kwasi Mensa. This video will demo the KDBC data source for sharded database, which is a new data source in DB21C uh, release. So let me share my screen and uh, get started. Okay, share screen. Okay. So as I said, this is a JDBC data source for sharded database, which is a new feature in DB21C database. Uh, my name is Kwasi Menza. I work for Oracle. So let me, traditionally, Java application accessing a sharded database must furnish a sharding key, which is here. If they are using the Oracle data source, which is a pure uh, JDBC only data source, or if they are using the pool data source, which is a connection pool data source. So you need to provide a sharding key, and then the shard director will build the connection based on the key by going through the shard director. So the shard director is useful when you don't know which shard to go to. So the way it works is the first time you access, if you're using the pool data, so the UCP, for example, universal connection pool, the first time you access a shard, UCP takes the opportunity to pull the topology, which is a, a little bit of uh, a key value from the, 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 the shard director. Okay, so it will have a partial uh, topology. The next time you access the, the, set, the other shard, it's gonna pull part of the topology. So at the end, after one access to each shard, the connection pool will have the entire topology of the shard databases. And this is important because if the shard director fail, in case you don't have multiple copies, the universal connection pool can act as a shard director. But the second thing more important is we no longer need to go to the shard director when we build the sharding, the, the, the connection using the sharding key to know which shard to go to. So UCP knows which shard to direct your request, your request, okay? So you build the connection based on the sharding key because you know the map. If you don't know the map, well, you go through the shard director and the shard director knows where is the shard to which that key belongs. So that's, the classical way of how Java connectivity to sharded database works. Now, in DB21C, we are introducing a new data source called JDBC uh, sharded data source, okay, uh, or JDBC data source for sharded database access. So what is new here, what is important is the Java developer, the Java application no longer needs to furnish the sharding key. The sharding data source, the JDBC data source for sharded database. Uh, we're using different name here, but you, you understand what we mean by sharded data source. It's the shard, the JDBC data source for sharded database access. To make it sure, we are just using sharded data source, okay? So to enable this, you just set a, a, a system property. I'll show you when we go to the code. So with this sharded data source, Java application no longer needs to specify the sharding key. The, that, the, the sharded data source will derive the sharding key from the query Okay, so it will send the, the request to the shard director. The shard director will identify which shard this needs to, to go to, as in the previous case. But the difference here is that the Java developer no longer needs to furnish the sharding key. Okay, so let me go to code and we can see in a concrete way what we're talking about. Put in IntelliJ, I'm already in presentation mode. This is just a simple Java code. Okay, so you can see here we have user and password. We have 
the shark director connection URL. This URL connect to the shark director. So the shark director has the capacity to access any shard and it knows provided a sharding key which shard to connect to, but the Java code is not providing any sharding key. So the sharding data source derives the sharding key from the query, you know, from the DML, from the SQL statement you are using. Okay, so we will use this sharded data source with the shard director URL to insert rows into different shards and then to control to check which shard got which data we will use specific URL those URL shard one URL shard two shard three URL a uh, specific URL to each shard right so a shard in the Oracle implementation is a full-fledged Oracle database with its specific URL, but those are all covered, controlled by the shard director. So we will really use those URLs just as a check after the fact, after the insertion, right? Okay, so here's a query, here is an insert statement, here is the, another query to recoup all the all the customer, okay, either from all the shards using the shard director URL or from a specific shard. If we give, if we're using a shard specific connection, we can pull all the customers from a specific shard, okay. So this is uh, the initialization, okay, we get a connection using the shard director data source, okay? And uh, I need to say that we have set the property, maybe we set the connection property, the shard, the connection property is set here, is set to true. You can see here in this code, create sharding data source. This is where we set the sharding property to true. Here we are setting this programmatically, but it is a system property. So you can set this property on the JDK when you invoke the Java code, okay? So going back to the code, so all the code does is loop through and insert a number of records. The records are different because the ID is different and the shard name is a combination of name and the, and the index, okay? So we will have different things, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We, and then it will insert. After that, we will check which customer data is in which shard, right? And then at the end, we will display all customers in all shards using the sharding data source once again, the one which can access any shard. And before that, you can see that here we're using shard one, shard two, shard three, which are specific to each specific shard, as I said before, okay? So yeah, that's it. And before we start, we, we truncate the table get the table so that we know for sure that we are inserting fresh data. The cleanup does the truncate. So the cleanup is over here, as you see, truncate table. Okay, so now let me exit presentation mode and execute the code. Okay, grab the terminal. Uh, Okay, notice here we are using the UCP jar, which is the connection pool jar. We're using ONS, this is the leader. And then we have the JDBC jar, and here's the simple Java code. Okay, has been pre-compiled. And you can see we are setting the property. That property is set to true. And then we're inserting into 
all shards using the sharding data source. I'm looking through the, okay. And then we check uh, which shard, uh, you know, which has, has which data, for example, shard one has ID 567, shard two has ID 9213, and shard three has four eight. And this is the check that all shard, and we can see we have all data here using the sharding data source. Right. So that's the that's the end of the, 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 the demo. It's very simple. Just set the property to true and use the shard director data source. And voila. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>